Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is different in Android 13 and Android 14. And we're going to do a side by side comparison. So, on the left is my Pixel 5, which is running Android 13. On the right is the Google Pixel 7, which is running Android 14. Now, of course, the first change you will notice is that the Easter egg is different on both of these Android versions. Next change you will notice is that if you are in settings and you are in about phone on Android 13, your IMEI, your phone number, your email address are visible. In Android 14, you have to tap to show the IMEI, the phone number, but unfortunately the email address is still visible. I do hope that Google puts that also behind a tap to show email address. The next difference between Android 13 and Android 14 can be found in settings and if you go into notifications. So on Android 14, you have a new option called flash notifications right below the do not disturb option. Once I go into this, I have options like camera flash. So once I I enable this if I get a notification my camera is going to flash bam here it is camera flashing for a notification similarly if you prefer to keep your phone with the screen facing you you have the option of screen flash and once you go into screen flash you can also configure the color of the screen flash for your notifications and bam here it is this is how the screen flash notification is going to look like then another change you will notice is with respect to your gestures and your predictive back animation so i just went to the home screen now let us see what happens if i go to settings on android 13 you will notice i'm back to the settings main page let us go into notifications go to the home screen go into settings i'm back on the settings main page the behavior on android 14 is different so here it is you can see i'm still in flash notifications let me go back i am in notifications I go to the home screen, I go to settings, I land up back on where I was, so in notifications. So that is something which Android 14 has added, a bit of predictive back animation, not fully implemented, but if you go into settings and developer options, enable predictive back animations, you will have the full implementation of predictive back animations for applications which have enabled it. Next up, you will notice some changes in the battery section. So let us go into battery option on both Android 13 and Android. 14 you will notice that android 14 has a new option for battery widget then if you go into your battery saver settings here and also you will notice a bit of ui change and then the option of turn off charged has been moved into schedule and reminders so here it is turn off at 90 percent and your extreme battery saver customization you now have a settings gear icon wherein you can choose your essential and non-essential apps previously Previously, you had to tap on extreme battery saver and then you would get to choose your essential and non-essential applications and when to use has been removed for extreme battery saver so you have to decide whether you want to use standard battery saver or extreme battery saver then if we go into sound and vibration a pretty welcome change over here is that on android 14 you can configure your volume level for ringtones and notifications separately on android 13 ring and notification volume is one slider you have two independent sliders for the same in android 14. another minute change in sound and vibration is that the toggle for touch sounds is called tap and click sounds in android 14. And then the option of shortcut to prevent ringing has been removed from this page in Android 14. Next up, if we go into display settings, you will notice that on Android 14, navigation mode option is present in display settings, while that is not the case in Android 13. Then if you go into your display size and text you will notice that android 14 has more steps over here so here it is you have like five or six steps in android 14 whereas in android 13 you have like four steps and the same is true for your display size as well 
then of course android 14 does bring you lock screen clock customization and a bunch of other options so if you go into wallpaper and style you will notice that android 14 has two options lock screen and home screen that is not present in android 13 so here then you can swipe and choose the different clocks which are available for your lock screen in android 14 my personal favorite is this one then if you go into clock color and size you can customize the color and the size of the clock as well other than that you can also customize the shortcuts on your lock screen the left and the right shortcut in android 14 that my dear friends is not possible in android 13 and before i forget android 14 also brings you monochrome theme so let us go into wallpapers and style and here in let us tap on this three dot that is going to bring us to our theming or material you section so if you go into basic colors on android 13 you do not have the option of monochrome but if i go into other colors on my android 14 device the first option which you see on the left the black gray and the white one this is your monochrome theme which is absolutely gorgeous and looks pretty dope on your android 14 device next awesome feature in android 14 is quick pin entry so let us go into settings and privacy and here then let us try to set a pin on both of these devices so i'm going to say my screen lock is going to be a pin now let me enter a six digit pin over here in fact that might be a seven digit pin but nothing happens right on android 14 as soon as i enter a six digit pin i'm going to get the option of auto confirm correct pin which is very similar to what you have on your samsung's and iphones as soon as you enter the correct pin the device is going to unlock automatically without you having to press the enter key on your keypad another awesome security and privacy related feature which is present in android 14 can be found in settings and you go into security and privacy and you go into privacy on android 14 you will notice a new option called data sharing updates for location so here it is here and you will have apps which have changed the way they may share your location data they may not have shared it before or may now share it for advertising or marketing purposes so this i think is a pretty nifty feature you have some shady apps which when you install do not share your data and then they come out with an update which starts sharing your data well that is what this section of data sharing updates for location is which is present in android 14 but not present in android 13 next up if we go into system settings on both android 13 and android 14 and then you go into languages and input you will notice a new menu called regional preferences in android 14 so here you can set your default temperature type do you want to use celsius fahrenheit or do you want to use the default and then you can also choose your first day of the week do you want it to be sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday or saturday another change you will notice is that the system settings may page now has the option of navigation mode in android 14 previously you would go into gestures and here then you would have the option of system navigation now if i go into gestures on android 14 you will again notice that the option for prevent ringing has been removed in android 14 which is present in android 13 the next change you will notice between android 13 and android 14 is when you connect your charger you have a cool looking charging animation in your status bar in android 14 which is not present in android 13. the next awesome difference between android 13 and android 14 is the ability to drag and drop so you can go into chrome select any text press and hold and then you can go to your recents drop that text into your messages to send it as a message to anybody you want to this unfortunately is not possible in android 13 another great security feature which is present only in android 14 is the ability for you to limit what an application can see when it comes to your photos and pictures so previously let us say you're using messages or you're using whatsapp or telegram and you want to share a picture using that app by default it will have access to all your pictures and videos well that is not the case with android 14 and you can actually select what photos and videos the application has access to 
And there it is peeps, those were the major differences between Android 13 and Android 14 which we thought were worth mentioning and which you should know about. However, if there is any feature which you think is worth mentioning and everybody should know about that awesome feature, feel free to leave it in the comments on this video.